there's a wall going down. It's covering the entirety of the side, but as it drops, Meadow was able to take down one from above. The fights are going Fnatic's way, and the plant should now be found. They've got that ice wall deep to cover Vodafone Giants from being able to really spam them out, but there's a little bit of a gap. The Fatino's been able to walk through. This will hasten up the pace on going back in for the retake. In fact, Fatino is hastening it all the way. He's going right back to yellow before his teammates are anywhere nearby, and it's the opening duel already in his back pocket. Fnatic want to play the post plants here. They want to run that clock down, and you can see the shock darts and snake bites on their way, but they've already got it diffused halfway on the Vodafone Giant side. Unfortunately, listen, repeat the same strategy. Moving towards the B side. Lots of open space, so no surprise that that's where they want to take it up against this weaker buy from Vodafone Giants, who have actually invested a decent amount. They've gone for some upgraded pistols. They've gone for a Marshall as well, but Tom is not going to be a reward for that in... Well, you wouldn't think there would be a reward for that, but they have come out with the opening duel dropping Boaster. Even despite a couple of players on low HP, this could be Fnatic in a bit of trouble. If they lose even one more player, it will already be a successful round for Vodafone Giants, and there's the drop okay. by Hoodie. Hey, pretty decent round already shaping up. Let's see what more damage they can do. Oh, oh God, this is starting to get a little bit scary now. Hoodie's now managed to pick one back. Doma is in a bit of a dicey spot. One kill goes his way, but they're looking to try and surround him. The question is, do they have time in the economy game? And this isn't a bonus from Fnatic. They've had to invest everything. Yeah, it might, it might look like a bonus, but it definitely isn't one. Durka with a rifle, though. We know what he can do. And, well, Doma's been on fire over the last couple of days. We've seen the, the double Ds coming back in full strength once again. And well, I'm starting to get a little bit worried here because Boaster's Lurk is also going to find another pick. And on Giants, and oh, they've got great info off that. Magnum able to get himself a kill. The cloud burst giving Fatino a magic would go towards them pretty easily. And these roadblocks that they're hitting in the early stone. Oh, no, Meadow. That is awkward. Somehow these roadblocks seem to just fade away when it comes to Vodafone Giants having rifles. A very quick play through middle from Fnatic. They Spot overrun the site, but Mystic does get dropped. They'll be able to plant the spike still, burn up another point towards Doma's res. David P kind of sandwiched though. He's stuck between the site players and a little bit of a lurk coming out of Boaster. And at this point, he has to try and fight on one of the fronts. He'll come to his teammates to try and force it on the site and then use that as a bait. Boaster sneaking up behind him, catches him off guard. Quick kill on the hoodie, and it... Teams who will try and risk and play through it. Fnatic have just decided, you know what? If you're going to try and lock down the B site, we're just going to go pushing directly into A. Now, there are some pretty quick rotations here, but Domo, after one trade, has already managed to bring this into a situation where they have the site. The only thing they have to worry about is Fatinho, and he's gone as well. The peak not working out for him, looking a little bit disjointed at the moment from Giants, and while the hero play has almost turned him into a villain because now Doma has his res and that brings back Durka. Strong player to have online, Tom. Plenty of He's time pretty good. on that clock. They don't have their wall to work with. They don't really have anything to block vision. It's going to have to be duels that are taken over on the Vodafone giant That's side and unfortunately... Dead. Those duels aren't going to play off of you would imagine, but no, Hoodie's just running on the site. This guy's confidence is through the roof right now. And as the Reyna, I suppose, that's what's needed. They're being picked off. One- Ow, my- What? You can't do that, man! Straight through the smoke! At least, the rest of it seems to be leveling out decently, leaving David P all by himself. A one versus two, a sheriff in hand, and practically no time to get it done. It is seven to one. But you see what I mean, Tom? Like, for strike where he was off it. <laughs> like, it, it fits. Um, so does Fatino. He fits into this roster nicely, and an opening duel is something they'll be very happy about. But it, despite that, they're still playing aggressive. David P going up using the offer essentially as a bait. So these players will be so focused on him, they forget that there's another player on this side. He's even swinging out further. David P, the double to bring Vodafone Giants miles into the lead. Finally, it feels like they have a foothold in a buy round. They've still got to be very careful, though. Magnum on the Lurk is always as deadly as ever. The sneak through the smoke is going to bring things back into a three on two. Still an advantage in the other direction. And, well, this duel could be everything. Ambi, though, he's going to play this calm and collected. Already done enough damage that he can afford to fall back. And David P. Oh, 
almost went a little bit wrong, but he finds his third kill of the round. His aggression, his positioning has been nigh on perfect. And while Magnum, he's not so sneaky anymore. Yeah, he'll be caught after. So far, it doesn't really seem to be netting him a whole lot. That's disgusting by Durka. They're checking their corners this time. I'm not overly surprised. Like, no, don't worry, guys. I have checked. David P is not here. And while he almost single-handedly won them the round in the previous, they are going to be able to... Seemingly, I was going to say trade ultimates, but they didn't. So, okay, the ult's going to stand. It gives them at least a little bit of extra space. And actually, Meadow does win that duel. It's only going to be a trade for now. But Fnatic, well, I, I feel like Doma currently just working out where they're going to be planting this one because he's been switching up those walls quite regularly. Yeah, it makes it difficult to really make these sneaky plays that Huddy's trying, but he's managed to make it over, hey. and no one's there. They're going he's in. now realizing that this is going to be a bit of a fake play, but Doma doesn't get the kill he was hoping for. The A-side already taken over by Magnum, but They're the cross is being watched. Magnum already rotated out of position. Great on the feet thinking by Fnatic, and now puts them in an advantageous spot. The clock ticking away, and the drone at least... Oh, it spotted both of them thing is though just the amount of utility that's about to go down on this spike this is something that Shock so far guarded. giants haven't been really able to deal with nice work from hoodie though it's left all on to mystic he's only got one snake bite available needs to peek for the kill and ambi is holding the angle to yeah, as you said they, they basically just gambled this round completely on fatinio he's a man who definitely can step up to the plate but he needs to hit this first shot and get out of there and that's a bigger problem the timing of pushing through the screen catches David Peake completely down. And they're actually just going to go and collect the orb. Oh, oh, that's a fantastic oh, shot. So important. Denies the res, but he loses his life and the A-side. Okay, the good trade there, at least. That's heartbreaking, man. The jump, you're only visible for half a second. <gasps> Did he I see Meadow coming across? Is he ready he for this? Oh, he certainly is now. Meadow. Coming around the right side for Durka, who's just backing off again. It's going to be one of those nasty post-plant plays. Two snake bites and two shock darts still online, but they might not even need the utility if Durka keeps fragging like that. And be getting shock darted up towards the A site. Fnatic have put up. Oh, that's what? Come on. How? 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 <laughs> My only question, I only have one thing to ask. That is how. At least he's dealt with eventually, but they don't know. Okay, never mind. Well, yeah, it's dealt with, and they're going to get the planted. We're also going to see the, the elevated Viper's nope. pit once again, or did he fall off before he, he actually off, used yeah. it? So, he uh, never mind then. Not going to be using that one, but still, they have an advantageous position. Now, the Spectre's actually pushing into the Viper's pit. Might not actually be that bad of an idea. Get the closer range shock angle, dart. and the Shock Dart's trying to clear out maybe some of the people, maybe some of the utility, as you mentioned already. For now, though, it's the fallback from the majority. A bit of damage being done, and Magnum just trying to hold a bit of a snaky angle, but Ambi is more than prepared for it. And the problem, though, is they've still got to clear out Doma and Mystic. Yeah, just playing inside that Viper's Pit. Look at this Meadow on 1 HP playing with the classic, but Durka has a much better chance of push down mid. In fact, I think Vodafone Giants were gambling on that. David P, star for cutting off Lurks, for playing that back line. And he is, well, he's back pretty much as far as he can go. Playing so his wall is up for his team and holding the bag for any flanks. But Fnatic are being incredibly patient, sticking with the three-man setup here. And Meadow is tagged down to one HP, then shock darted inside that poison orb. It's so good. They thought they were out of snake fights, so it was easy, but it's anything but. There's six seconds left. They plan. need a plan right now, and there's Don't. no time left. Vodafone Giants have lost the pistol and Fnatic and all that. But also the fact that I think they sort of read that Vodafone Giants were holding for that, that flank play. Oh. They were ready for it. The most are... At, the two people that he killed also had Marsh. Oh. That's the thing. It's not like he took a fight versus pistols. He took the fight versus a pretty even, actually disadvantageous oh, no. spot. Durka had gone. pushed up A at the very start of this round. He's been on a very, very late flank. And he got the reward. Three versus two. Still winnable, though. Oh, that, that was a nice try. Can a little bit more than I expected because this bike kind of sucks coming out from Giants. 
Now, Fnatic are just playing a, a different level on Icebox here. They're ready for everything the Vodafone Giants want to do. When Giants hold for flanks, there's no flank. When Giants commit to a site, there is a flank. When Giants want to play a little bit of map control late in the round, like we saw it where a couple couple rounds into the first half hoodie tried to make a play through middle when there was a lot of b presence but Fnatic were lurking there and waiting for him to do that they just it feels like vodafone giants are on a different tier essentially i think that's true for most european teams it's just hard to play the mind games that Fnatic want to play because they know your team better than you probably do Well, good luck, David. <laughs> yeah, that was ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just so much utility just falling the second he goes to try and do anything. We're already seeing the rotation maybe... also coming in through mid, the push through A. Like, they know exactly where this is going at this stage. Now, David might be able to force Mystic out of the corner. He's actually just going to patiently wait to avoid the bullets. Just making sure that they're not going to hand anything over on the other side. Although, I was going to say Poster might get caught, but never mind. He's just cracked the head with the Marshal. And then just, just in the background. If just, just wait for his cam to come back up and just have a little look. I, uh, the man... Close. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know it either, so we're both stuck. How do you make you live there for a, over a year, man? What are you doing? You lived there way longer than that. The round's going, Mitch. Let's, let's move on. How many years you lived in Ukraine? How many years? Quickly. How many years? Uh, who knows? Mystic. Wow, this is incredible. He's dominating. He's found himself three kills. And Hoodie is going to be the last team they've played against, hands down. If it comes to buying, same thing holds true. Let's see if they've got what it takes to bring it across the line. Okay. Hey, two... Two opening kills, great start. Vodafone Giants overrun the site. They're going to be able to get the plant down. This is where Fnatic now have to try to uh, fight their way back again. And the right clicks almost do it for them. That's not looking good. Slayer Already, standing. David P is going to drop one more. And well, it's left all on to Doma. I don't feel too confident in this one. Maybe he can earn an old orb or two. <laughs> not quite. Oh. Maybe meant to pull it back. Mystic's up top here, and he's gonna swing for a quick Ooh. double. Hello, down into hook or into lamps he goes. And at this point, Fnatic, they, no. How has Durka just snuck up like that? The wall drops at just the right time. Fatino though returns the double. Fnatic now have to fight back in, but there's only 20 seconds left, and that spike is in danger. There's a flank coming through. It's spotted, but not dealt with. The flash about to make it around the corner. Blinds Fatino completely. Oh, He's going to get hit by another, and it's all about delaying that clock. 10 seconds, and Fatino needs to kill one of these players to get the plant in. Only one life. Vodafone Giants, and now the full push comes in. Great orbital strike to push Magnum to the open. Good trade on the Doma, but his nade actually picks up Ambi as well. Keeps the numbers even. The spike being planted and the covers there. Fatino ready for them to come out from spawn. A 3k for him to put one man left with it all to do. It is Mystic. Without any utility to play with, he's in a pretty tough spot. But Tom, if he gets one kill, his ulti's going to be online. Oh, timing gonna be everything and David P. There you go. For now, at least, looking like a very good start. Boaster, he's gonna get stuck, but the remaining players have actually pushed up alongside him, trying to pincer in onto Hoodie. I think he's realized now, and they might be a little bit more hesitant to try and push any further forward. Seekers are used up on B, confirming that this is at least an A heavy play with a lot Ooh. of players outside of there. Hoodie getting dropped. That's leaves Rez. David P in a pretty bad position. The Rez is going to come in, but he's now spotted. And there's three players oh, nearby. No. In fact, that f***ing duel. The flash is sent out to confirm that they're coming. There's 12 seconds on the clock, Tom. They need to get on there now. Seconds. Five seconds to get in and plant it, or the round is going to be done. And Dustin, it has to be started. It has to be done now, and it's not. They've already lost. Oh, what a disaster. And as Ambi tries to... We're going to have to skip a little bit onwards because it looks like this is going to be an incredibly fast play. Ultimates being combined for the side of Giants to give themselves an opening pick. And it was going fairly well until Boaster finds a double. Yeah, that was a great start from Giants, but maybe not a great finish. They're starting to lose a couple of numbers and the spikes down on the site. And, well, with the weaker weapons they have, the range duels aren't exactly ones that they're favored in anymore now that their comrades have been dropped. The boaster for them to swing out because they know he's in hookah, and they've even made a little pyramid. Gonna have the... Oh, that's really nice! The count!
counter to the showstopper. David P pops down the orbital strike, not aggressively, but just to stop them pushing. The push had already been committed to, though. The blast pack's in use, and so a free kill is found. Great they reaction. They were ready for that. Yeah, Mystic's gone through the TP. They, they can just escape here. There's no one on that A site anymore, and this has no thing. Huh? Okay. <laughs> A little bit of support when it comes to the utility. Waiting through the back, what? but Fatinho has managed to win that duel. Just hopping straight through, finds the kill. And now things are looking a little bit shaky. They've still got three players on this site, but it's a risky play from Magnum. And everything's falling apart. Ambi with another double opener to the site. Six to four. It could be absolutely massive if it has some decent sway over around. Damn, that is an early pop, but they're actually going to just push straight on to Durka and Magnum. This aggression has just been punished almost instantly, but have they spotted Boaster? He's been here most of the time. It's going to be the late Tiger to come through, and Tiger, he should be dead here. Somehow manages to get one onto Hoodie, but Fatinho is on fire at the moment, dominating in the openers, taking the site for himself, and now it's left onto Doma to try and shut him out. And Explosively in? Through what I thought they weren't going to check him. Yeah, well, you're, you're dead now, buddy. Yeah, I said, any aggression that Fnatic has attempted just haven't worked at all. Oh, oh, that's a free one at least. The patience of Mystic, but unfortunately, I think he was hoping for a little lockdown. bit more. Finally, the lockdown's going to be used, something that it just doesn't seem like Meadow's really needed. He's been on the lurk in most cases, and while well, he'll make sure there's nobody within this site, Magnum's flank is cut off as well, and now it's left all onto Durka and down a little bit further back, and I think they're watching to see if there's any aggression. There is, but it's going to come right into Boaster's face. Doma is done as well. Hoodie with a double opener for the round, and while well, Fnatic, their, their choice has been decided for them, Mitch, as they're now going to A. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not the cleanest of fights we've seen inside of Hookah. A couple of mistakes, mechanical hiccups, led us to this A push. The wall is down, and Fnatic want to get that spike down as well, but David P is so ready, never mind. Asleep at the wheel, taken down. Flash is good, Meadow under pressure. Has to give up this control until Hoodie comes in to back him up. And the push towards the site will be there. Oh. He's traded positions with the Tiger. And that's netted him a quick <laughs> double for four kills in this pistol. Not at all. Oh, oh no. That's that's as free as, it, as they come. Once that smoke fades, Magnum's on for one at least. Pops the flash. Quite ambitious. A oh, nice little no. double triple lineup for him. Dirk is the one that actually caught Patino. Leaving Magnum with just the three. Gonna be the push coming through. Magnum, he's got very far into this. It doesn't matter. It's that utility combo again. Fatinho, though, he's doing his best to try and fight this one back. It's gonna be a three versus two. We see the lockdown put in, Mitch. Maybe that'll be the difference maker. Neighbor middle, and they are playing a bathroom post plant for the mid plant. Strange, but it will probably work here. They have a cross. Uh, they have a crossbar still, but one less player to hold it with. This is now looking a lot better. David P tagged down to 30 HP. Meadow has to be the hero of this round. He has a duel up close, a hard shot to hit with that sheriff in hand. A little bit of time to play with, but it's just too far gone. They would rather save this rifle at this stage, grab a little exit kill along the way, and give... Looking like it might be a complete pace change. Ooh. Wow, the orbital strike could be everything. They're trying this again. Dragging players into the corner and it's worked perfectly. Not quite the full team coming up there on the assist, but it is three of the four. Orbital strike going to be put into place, but I don't think it's going to get anything. And instead, Mystic combines again with Magnum to get themselves a second opener. This A site looking pretty tough to hold. <gasps> but it's a double what? shot dark kill. Okay, Ambi, I see you've got those lineups. That's not the typical double, because it's a double-double. He's got two he two kills with one shock dart. Absolutely ridiculous. And then he even connects onto oh, Mystic no. with the Hunter's Fury poster coming out. Well, check is close right, and he is dead to right. But he having the angle lineup on Mystic easily. And that now Doma needs to try and find some sort of trade, hoping that he's given an angle. Who do you might actually peek this? I don't know if he's going to be expecting anybody to be that high up. The trade really needed, and they're going to get it. Rez coming through onto Boaster as well. It leaves Fatinho with quite a bit to do in a horrible position, but he gets the timing spot on. Even throws in the nade, and they're going to...
counter the showstopper. Vitinho goes nuclear with three kills of his own. And now Mr. Combostor are the last two standing. They do have a Viper's Pit. And, well, they're not far off the Cosmic Divide. Not that that will probably help too much. But the re-aggression is actually caught. And we go back to a 2v2. But look at the HP. 45 and 25. That is not an easy position to play from. We're talking headshots only. And for Mystic, you got to be pretty close range left. as well. Patino's on 76, though. Hooked in the corner. And the divide is on A. They might not expect him to be here. His own bravado. But because it's for 12 to 7, it's to put them on map point. Guaranteed. They cannot be eliminated to the lower bracket off of this. Off to the res to find another. And then he shuts it out at the end. David P now looking to take matters into his own hands. He's having enough of them getting that orb for free. But they are still going to get that control. Now, Fitinho's here as well. They've also got some aggressive positioning that might have actually been missed because Meadow is hiding within their own utility. Doma, though, will just about snap to the head of Meadow. Fitinho with a quick trade, still holding onto the bathrooms, and he just peeks out and gets another. Again, these rounds go back and forth, Mitch, and again, it's a 2v2. Hoodie's even stuck inside that Viper's pit. Completely caught Mystic off guard and puts Boaster in a tough spot. This is to stay alive for Fnatic and avoid a third map. Fight for that. He didn't tag him. He missed. No, didn't get him. He missed the tag. Oh, no. Well, he doesn't have a bounty of information because Oster could easily be pushing behind him at this point. And you can see he's conscious of that. That's why he doesn't full stick it. Boaster will now hear that he's already got it halfway. That should prompt him to peek out, but he's seen that the player's not on the spike. The step made, and Ambi was ready to take him down. That will be 13 to 7. Absolutely no clue. Down to 50 HP as he swings three players spotted. That's a lot of information. You saw his face light up as he tells his team to push oh. straight onto the site. Good tags. There's the shock dart into Fatino, and as he falls, so too does the site. The late lurk play by Magnum's going to be cancelled and David P has a big whiff. That's the man advantage now in favor of Fnatic. Post plans can be taken and their back is well and truly covered by Magnum for the moment. Yeah, they need some sort of big individual player if they're going to get back into the site and that might just be it. Boaster left completely blind. Doma does the same to his opposition. He'll capitalize on one, but maybe didn't know the Meadow had also been blinded in the corner. It swings back into an equal position. The problem is the spike ticking away. They need to start clearing up some of these players. And now it's Mystic's turn to whiff a few bullets. He at least turns it into the one versus one. And Magnum now just playing that after plant. It's definitely not the cleanest of battles, but the turret and the spike. <laughs> <laughs> They've completely ruined. They, you've ruined his day, though. Couldn't you have been born some other day? Anyway, it's going to be the fast push in. A full stack here, though, for the defenders. Every single member waiting, and they've already managed to get three kills. Now, the spike's still in the hands, but they're still going forward. They're still taking the peaks. And then Current positioning, but it might just get in the back it's of their heads. They're still going to be checking everything thoroughly. And David P. Uh, Vodafone Giants have maybe had a little bit of yeah. a look at how he likes to play. The dash gets Fatino out of there just about. And he goes Excuse back in, me? taking Durka no. down. That is absolutely him? disgusting. He's all blind, so he doesn't know there's a player oh. right behind him. But he's managed to sneak over towards the switch room. Oh, now spamming. waiting for a pink to come in. The turret's destroyed from far away. And Fatino has Magnum yeah. trapped in that corner. A second player even coming over to help him out. Oh, a no. few spams received from behind. Hoodie dropped. And this is actually turning around pretty quickly for Fnatic. That recon was perfect. It reveals everyone. Kills for Magnum as well. Equalize it up into a... <laughs> I'll remember that for next time. Right here. Still a man advantage in the retake. Now, Fatinio may not have a gun, but he does have his Blade Storm available, and a lot of damage is being taken by Durka currently underneath. But by sticking down here, he is wasting an awful lot of time. Mystic also on the re-aggression, but he's quickly dealt with by Fatinio. As they make their way in, the paranoia are also going to be used. They're trying to clear out Magnum, and that's exactly what he does. This man really isn't having any troubles in this map. Four kills already in the round Doma. He just doesn't stand a chance. And while trying to hide back, he's turned into almost just a hat now he screamed when he noticed this is a fast round man look at the pace right to the back site meadow's already gone the site's theirs as free as can be nice plant for fanatic 
very quick rotations coming out from the Spike defenders. Planted. Now, nobody's actually pushed through mid. They walled it off at the beginning, so there's not going to be any flank coming. This means that Vosa's going to have a late push in behind after all the remaining players have tried to go through. They're looking to clear out short, but he's sat so passive, it will actually take them a ridiculous amount of time to clear him from this position. Patinho's just wall-banged Mystic, though. Now, that's something at least. Turns it back into a 4v4. They catch the late Lurk of Boaster, and now they've left Durka completely blind. This retake is sublime coming out from Jai. They are run. looking to try and clear out Boaster. Now, we've seen the lockdown being placed. They know he's here. That is beautiful stuff from Giants. Boaster is just not getting anything done on these flanks. That's both times now they've either checked for him or they've just shut him out completely. Now they have used the lockdown. Durka already incredibly low and now again we watch to see if they can retake. Durka, yeah, stuck up behind that generator. He's gonna swing after the flash and actually end up with a kill. Mystic's got a double and all of a sudden it's only David P but maybe that might be enough. Just about getting away with a third, but time is too low. Rushing into the site, rushing into the stack. Oh, Fnatic clueless. don't know what waits for them. They've dashed in. They think they're about to catch one or two off guard. Patino up top, Ambi as well. Now they think the site is clear, but that's when they come through the smoke, flooding into the site. Vodafone Giants have just completely outbrained Fnatic. Players on the back site remain only detected for one man, and Ambi is taken down. Now Meadow could potentially catch them off guard, but they've heard the steps. They know he's inside of here. He has a teammate covering for him, though. The operator wanted to watch the cross, but is pushed back because, well, you never know what's around that corner, right? Got to be worried about main, meaning Meadow has to fend for himself, and that's not going to yeah. happen. Plant and a double, a double the manpower. Pretty tough retake <laughs> here, and uh, one that isn't necessarily going to happen. <laughs> The worst thing is, is he almost just used those smokes to try and give him a better angle into main, and Dubba just spams and insta headshots him through it. Like, a little bit of bad luck for Fatinho. David P, been superb so far in this map. But he's a three man stack. Already, though, they get the opener. They do take quite a bit of damage onto Hoodie at least. He is going to try and heal himself back up and actually boost over the top, try and give them some extra jewels here, but it's just not gone well in the pistol. The shot's not connected. David P trying to make some sort of resurgence here. But doesn't have much support from his teammate who's only just wrapping in and eventually Mystic puts him in the grave. It's left on to Ambi. Please, someone hit a shot. That Mate, was, you wouldn't have hit the connected. first one. Oh, God. <laughs> Okay, it seems like Hoodie is a little bit more prepared for Durka's aggression than maybe I gave them credit for. Because I said it previously. Like, that's what this man likes to do. Disrespectful plays, aggressive plays to try and shut them out before they get anywhere near the site. Now, that was one of the... Mechanical being who already has one kill. Here we go. This is... Oh, this is very unfortunate with the drone, but he swings, ignores the drone completely. And that's one kill for them. The problem is Vodafone Giants just going to waltz onto that site, get a plant, and then they've got a two versus four that surely they can't lose. I'm out of stuff. It's going to be a rough one. And while well, Mystic maybe just want to save the rifle, but just something to bring into the... Oh, it's nasty. It's so nasty. Great flash. Doma takes two down, but the trades are so good. Vodafone Giants walk into a disadvantageous no situation. Here. Flashed up and a one-way smoke, and they still oh, manage David to deal P. with the entirety He's of this so A defense. And David P has dealt with the B defense as well. Circus flank caught off, and the man advantage now sits to Vodafone Giants. Well, that's a quick push coming through. David P actually dealt with as well by Boaster, saving his teammate's life. And the remaining two are somewhat stuck here. Now, they got loads of time. They don't have to really take any risks here. They're going to use the Aldrome, which won't actually give them anything. Both players from Fnatic have fallen back, so they're not going to spot any of the remainder, but it does give them a safe place to plant. Now, it's not exactly the best position in the world, and while well, the tag also is going to give away one of them, the peak coming back through, Magnum holding the angle. He's going to nail the first shot, but it's just a trade in the peak from Meadow. 13 HP just about gets the reload through. 
And well, he knows that there's nobody on this defusal at this point. Can spot that he's not going for it, but it won't match. Out the tiger. Is this Fatino's opportunity? Does he go through and try to hunt him down? No. Slightly slower because they want the drone first, but it's tucked in the corner. Oh, Doma. It. It's able to actually do a pretty decent job of just remaining undetected. Even swaps over position. So they'll be covering the corner he was in. That's so big brain by Doma. And an easy double as they come out through the choke point. They are met with the full force of Fnatic's defense. Ten. I don't know. I don't think he has spotted him because he flashed quite deep there. Eventually, they're going to realize. But, well, it's realization with a bullet in his teammates. How the Meadows now got two? Grouping up together. Magnum and Boaster have a tough task. Those two on site. Oh, there you no. go. That's whoa. Magnum in a lot of trouble. He hears the players on long, but there was nothing he could do. The rest some big dividends, but they're throwing over arrows on A. They've got to go oh. fast now. Do they clear? Oh, surely Mystic has to be dead. No, he's actually going to get away with two kills. Oh, eventually the trade comes through, but the spike has been dropped on short. They've only got 20 seconds to try and deal with it. Now, Doma doesn't have any flashes left, and the dash away might give him an opportunity. He's got him trapped oh, in the corner, but the pistol is enough. And now it's left on to Boaster. Shock Dart might actually get the kill, but there comes the blade storm. Raiders, for what I think is the first time we'll really Ooh, see him come scooped. up. And the timing on Durka to try and pop flash himself out of it. I think he is. This is risky as hell, and he's not going to get anything for it. Vitinho already going to find his second of the round and looking to try and dash back into this site. Mystic is waiting. He needs to go huge, and he will fall for Vitinho as well. This man is just taking over the server. Even a trade here for Giants would be absolutely fine. Ambi, he's not checked it properly. Oh, it's a little bit... Oh, it's wrong it went wrong to say the least magnum with a chance to get a multi-frag he's only going to come out with one and now they're pressuring onto dirk he's been caught a few times this time he escapes doma in a bit of trouble himself this is not the greatest of rounds for Fnatic. it seems like they're almost choking out of this one but mystic might just be there to save the day three kills as he fades Baby. back into the smoke and he'll just about get around the corner. Oh, man. I, I did not think he had that much time left on the smoke, so fair play. The read was there. Meta with 11 HP left to keep the dream alive for regulation victory. He needs to win this 1v2. And the Hunter's Fury, oh. it ends his chances. There's no way he gets this plant in, surely. Oh, no, it's right <laughs> on him. 12 to 11. And there was no attacker or defender. We were watching a death match oh, with a bit of strategy. God. The Odin play, it's come out from Boaster. Now I'm a big fan. Always love Boaster, but this one's really pushed it over the line. Let's see what he can uh, do they, with it. They've TP rotated as well. There's going to be some counter ultimates being expended. Magnum actually pushes straight through and manages to turn it into a three versus two. Now the spike is still in their control. They're actually going to take a bit of a risk here. This turns it into a one versus one. Doma might be able Doma's to end here. this round in his tracks position. In a prime position to get some serious work done. There's the kill to Magnum, leaving Boaster alone. 50 HP and a one versus two to win out. The spike planted open for them and a player flanking him from heaven. That is going to be an overtime question mark. He's already sticking it to halfway, or at least that's what they think. Pushing down a little bit of a dark oh, no. horse within the scene. Great flash by David D. Oh. And a double kill. A shutdown on the A push. And they still have Patino here with oh, the not operator. What? How did that not connect? Through the shadows it went. And Mystic is now harassing the back site, taking down Meadow. Oh no! Vodafone Giants are on the back foot and Fnatic. They've pulled this one out of absolutely nowhere. That shot might have been everything. Mystic getting one of the kills on the way back in, but there's still two players to fight for this one to try and give them that advantage that they so desperately need. Hoodie trying to peek back in. He's been spotted. They now know where both players are, or at least should do, with Ambi spamming through the smoke. Hoodie has made some ground, at least, but with all three players underneath heaven, there's no way they can clear these. That's what they're gunning for. Recon on mid sees nothing. Vodafone Giants. Definitely have the pressure on, and dealing with Dirk is going to be the first big task that they face. He's up on top, and All Hoodie's right. ready for it. With that down, there's a player up close in the form oh, of Doma, but Hoodie, oh. full blind, just deals with him. This is fantastic from Vodafone Giants. Up on top they go, and Mystic's able to drop one. Dancing around the generator, he will be that taken down. Damage. All onto Magnum. Three players facing into his crosshair, and it's shaky from him. David P will be the one to close him out. Barely any damage done. And the remaining players, well, they're locked into the site. 
Paranoia is going to catch the first, but there's, there's literally four guys on oh, God. They've got the potential to make multiple crossfires happen. Retaking with the off, not going to be easy, but Hoodie is leading the charge and dominating every fight. He takes Doma all alone on the back side. Numbers are going to be his... I'm going to have to buy this man tickets to Hamilton or something. Boaster's playing the Odin on every side. He just keeps buying it up. What is that for Magnum? He's run after Patino. He's chased him down. Nano swarms, cloud versus smokes. It doesn't matter. You can't keep this guy away. He's looking for a little bit more and even catching Ambi off. Now staring at Main for another challenger. Step right up. Step right up. It looks like finally we have a victor. But with David P left last alive, a 1v4 and a shot to the side confirmed. Garner and quite a bit of information for his team. He's got to be careful though, because a peek out here could be his life lost. He's going to be deep flashed on to allow Durkin to push, but Fatino was just sat there waiting. He'll eventually be dropped, but the trades are there. And it looks like Vodafone Giants have done just enough to pull themselves into the lead here. Fnatic are surrounded. There's players on every side. The site has a two-man stack with a crossfire. And 40 seconds on the clock kind of limits their ability uh -huh. to rotate. Boaster has found himself that big weapon. A little bit of damage onto Hoodie. He needs a bit more. 20 bullets as he left. swaps over. The Phantom now in his hands. 25 David seconds to flank on its way. David P easily takes the first. Paranoia onto the second. And with the barrel spotted, Meadow closes it out. Boke it, wall it, not give him the chance to take that fight. And the pace has been picked up. Potential spam to come through. And he's actually just going to go running through. Doesn't quite get you. I think he did. He wallbanged David P, but he survives. Now it's left on to Boaster at the back of the site. The flash through from Doma will at least garner him one. And Boaster, he steps up in this round. Three kills off the back. He even grants him his trusty ultimate, the Hunter's Fury. He won't spot out the player yet, but Mag, number one player in the world. Yeah. Oh, here we go. All right, David. David P, how do you get out, though? You know, that's something you'll see a Jet do. We've seen Durka, we've seen Fatino make those kind of plays. Maybe a Reyna, you know, but an Omen, not so much. Good trade back, though. Meadow is going to give them an advantage over to... Blocking off any plays directly into B, and the re-aggression is going to be caught. Hoodie falls, but now they're almost going to try and sell this as control of A, but they're not currently going in that direction. Now, any push into mid would catch a trip, but instead, actually do start to wrap back into the A site. Still going to be two players waiting here. One of the Meadow sat underneath heaven but more importantly Fatinho up above with that operator he's not been one to miss too many shots but that might be the one meadow however has been able to pick off domer in the meantime leaving boaster to try and trade he can cover mystic at least while the plant comes in they know the operators up top and have to be so worried about it peeking into Fatino now could be the end and indeed boaster will go down mystic now has to clutch it there's a player below and two above. No info really to play with. Great spray! What? And he actually what? gets it done! All that sort of good stuff. And of course, trip wires if you're playing against the Cypher. The drone's going to go through. Is this, again, a faster play? Mystic has had a oh, lot to say from this angle. And they've not cleared it for the fifth time, I think, at this point. But now they know where he is. He's still good for one. Everybody on Fnatic showing up. This is when they need to. A three versus two as David P and wants to gently peek that angle, but Boaster's waiting for it. The Odin in hand, but a bullet in his head. Numbers evened up, and David P will take an even more aggressive stance, making his way into market. They better be ready for this. He's, He's so in good. And good for another. David P is ready to pounce on him. And there it is, an easy fourth hour. Thirty-five seconds. Bettino about to be pressured, and he's going to get the opener once again. Magnum almost has to try and pressure onto him, and Dirk has been caught in mid. They're going to try and wrap back into the A side, but there's been an aggressive push. And of course, it's David P. He's got the perfect spot to deny anything in this round. Are they going to expect anyone to be that far forward? Probably not. So it's a free kill. Boaster goes down and they just close it. David P with the double again as they head into the attacker round. I've lost count in the previous round. And now they're going to look to try and push into Boaster. Already, Dirk is going to be able to pick up one. Do they even expect him to be here? The answer is no. And again... They start to fall in the afterplant, and they've left Ambi behind to almost just try and catch out Durka, who I think is just going to be running, but gets away with it. 
This is a scary situation for Fnatic. They have nothing to work with in terms of utility bar that paranoia. Dirk is on his way with the operator. He'll be the first to take contact. But the dash, the ability to fall out, he goes right onto the site. Good position! Oh! David P with the triple! Vodafone Giants, one kill away from knocking Fnatic down to the lower bracket. It's Mystic again that has to pull this clutch off. He spotted the final oh. player, but he won't.